writing community, I felt very sort of outside of it. And it was as if, you know, he just came up and put an arm around me and says, okay, I'll show you around. <laughs> you know, these are the people to avoid. Uh, these are the people you could talk to. He's really one of the few people in the, in the writing community that I developed a real friendship with that really went outside of the writing community. We, there's a, a real vacuum, I think, in my life that it's hard to define. Um, you know, you, you, you tend to think about death in very abstract terms, and, and it's, it's, it's couched with so much baggage, really, and, and so, much, uh, uh, so much ritual. Uh, but the reality of it really is just this, this absence, this, uh, this undefinable thing, this thing you can't make sense of. Um, uh, it's, you know, you visit it every day and you think about it, and, uh, and it throws into question uh, uh, a lot of uh, um, uh, a lot of the elements of your own life, uh, and, um, and 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 forces you to redefine them. But uh, the main thing is really just you know just feeling this this uh, this thing that was there and that was so important for so long that uh, no longer is there. And it, it's a it's quite a long process, I think, to to get over that and to to find ways around it and to reshift your life so that that absence sort of becomes a bit a bit smaller um, but you know what remains uh, is the uh, the work uh, his books his music uh, uh, his uh, films his plays uh, which are still out there and are still coming out uh, and uh, the other thing I found is that I'm now making connections with friends of his who perhaps I didn't know that well uh, during his life and it always amazed me when I would go to a party at Paul's house and there would be all these people I didn't know. I mean normally you'd go to a literary event and you'd seen all these same people at every other literary <laughs> event. You'd go to Paul's and there were all these other communities there. Uh, and, uh, and in fact now uh, I'm starting to make some connections with, uh, with some of those other facets and it, uh, it's almost as if my you know, my life continues to be enriched through him. Nino Ricci will be reading at the Leacock Summer Festival on Sunday, July 25th at the Paul Quarrington Levy. For complete event details, visit our website at www.leacockmuseum.com. See you in Aurelia. <laughs>